Good afternoon. Hopefully everyone's having a great afternoon. I wanted to take just a brief moment for a mortgage minute and uh, talk to you real quickly about student loans. Today's August 14th, obviously. Student loans, those pesky student loans. I talk to a lot of people who tell me that they have been turned down because of student loans and too much debt on their debt ratio. So I wanted to take a real quick minute to throw out a couple of suggestions and things to consider and think about. The first option is, is if you can go conventional, go conventional, particularly if you have an income-based student repayment plan and your credit report has you with nothing but zeros showing up for payments. If you can go conventional, if you have zeros showing up on your credit report and you're on an income-based repayment plan, go conventional. We don't have to use anything but what the credit report shows. So if it's a zero, we can use a zero. If it's $15, we can use $15. So if you're able to go conventional, go conventional. If you have to go another option, Freddie Mac. Instead of using 1% like FHA, Freddie Mac uses 0.5%. So that's also another option, LP, Loan Prospect. Ask your loan officer about trying and running it through Freddie Mac or the LP, Loan Prospect, uh, uh, review system. And then if you have to go FHA, which typically will ask for 1% uh, in terms of what we use for the debt ratio, your monthly obligations. So if you have $200,000 in student loans, 1% of that is $2,000. A lot of people can't handle that on their debt ratio. But if you have to go FHA, uh, then look for what's called a fully amortized payment. And the way you get that is to simply call, ask for what a standard repayment would be, not an extended uh, a standard or a fixed repayment plan would be. If you get that and it's lower, that's considered a fully amortized payment plan. And you can use that lower amount other than using 1%. Let me know if you got questions. This has been a Mortgage Minute. See you guys.